cindered shadows return to me. Where the heck are we? Finally, you're all awake. Good morning, sleepyheads. Or is it a good evening? Yuri! You scoundrel! You are unfit to speak to us, liar that you are! Yeah, yeah, liar, blah, blah. Nothing I haven't heard before. Look, pal, enough beating around the bush. What exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Where's Elfric? And what the hell are you plotting? Questions, questions. You're wearing me out, Balthus. Fine then. I'll lay it out for you. Elfric intends to reenact the Rite of Rising. He's preparing everything as we speak. What is this silly rite anyway? He trying to do some crazy magic to raise the dead or something? Actually, yes. By offering up the blood of the four apostles in the chalice, you can bring someone back to life. Saint Saros performed the ritual 995 years ago, but not enough blood was given up. So the ritual was a bust. No clue what happened after that. That's what Alfred concluded after scouring the records anyway. And now, through extreme persistence, he's found and gathered the four of us with our crests. He placed us under his direct supervision within the Ashen Wolf House, and he did all of it to ensure a successful ritual, the Rite of Rising. You mean to say that he intends to drain our blood? To kill us? Such an act would be unforgivable, an atrocity! I cannot die in this wretched hovel! Yeah, that sounds painful and permanent. Count me out. Hang on, the number four includes you too, right? So, you're gonna die too? Yep, that's the idea. And here I thought we were close. But all this time you've been skulking around, deceiving us. It hurts, boss. It hurts bad. You wanna die, that it? Fine. I'll kill you myself. Just stop that crafty nonsense of yours and face me, fist to fist. Shut it. I've lived through hell and worse. After climb my way here, you really think I want to die? Then why throw your life away for the likes of Elfric? Some things are more important than my own life. Some things are worth protecting. You're not making any damned sense! It would seem that you want to be punished severely, Yuri. That's some sort of threat? There's not much you can do to me that hasn't already been done. True. You took wing from the mud into which you were born, and rose to such great heights. To break your spirit would take far too much effort. Though, if I must, I will kill your mother, in addition to your dear people. Oh, so that's it. You were trying to protect your mom. Precisely. What is it you are hoping to accomplish, Elfric? To resurrect someone I lost long ago, no matter the cost. Surely there are those for whom you do similar. Perhaps. Even so, never would we annihilate those we care for. There's nothing I wouldn't do. Nobody I wouldn't trade to see the light in her eyes once more. Whoa. That lady looks real dead, pal. She is. For now. You're gonna regret this, Helfric. I accepted the regret I might feel from this long ago. As long as she returns, nothing else matters. Yuri, if you think you'll be pulling anything funny, think again. The Knights of Seros won't save you. No doubt they're indisposed right now on some mission or other. Well, that's a damn shame. The whole evil villain look really doesn't suit someone as pious as you, Helfric. <laughs> Yuri Bird, I could... Not yet. It is time. Take them. Your blood will pour forth, filling the chalice. <laughs> you really are a fool. You were diligent, Yuri. You kept me abreast of all the Ashen Wolves' movements. 
As recompense for being such a good student of my flock, I will gladly hear any final words from you. <laughs> That's fresh. If you knew me at all, you'd know these won't be my final words. I'm simply biding my time. For what? For the goddess's descent? Can you hear it? She's coming. Bells? This late at night? Yeah, you hear that, Alfric? That's the sound of your demise. The knights are releasing my people as we speak. The ones you locked up and hid away. How did you know about that? Wait, the Knights of Seros? <laughs> like I said, the evil villain look really doesn't suit you. I know it was you who sent me on that mission, and ultimately led to me landing in Abyss. Overall, your execution was lacking. Lady Rhea has been on to you as well. Oh, and just so you know, I've been working for her since before I'm working for you. She had me keeping an eye on you. Told me to inform her if you seem to be planning anything. You! But you took those I care most about hostage, which limited my options. You chained up the wolves, and kept a tight grip on my robes and abyss to ensure I wouldn't betray you. I struggled with whether or not to tell her everything. After all, my allies' lives were on the line. I deliberated on what to do next, knowing I'd have to rely on my own cunning to see this through. I waited for the chance I could rescue my mother and allies, all while paying lip service to you. Until today, the day you pulled all your forces in so you could attempt this ritual. You're no villain, with that sticky conscience you call a heart tripping you up. Not like me. I see. You were one step ahead of me all this time. It matters not. The ritual has begun. There's no stopping it now. You will all die. Just a bit longer. Don't think for a moment. But you're getting off easy, pal! Seriously, boss, did you have to tie us up so tightly? <laughs> Sorry, Bacchus. I figured those little tears would be enough for you to break through the rope. I may be the unbeatable king of grappling, but I'm also bleeding profusely. You didn't wonder why it was taking me so long? Think next time, yeah? I haven't the slightest what you two are jabbering on about, but please untie our ropes as well. You're talking. Do it yourself. I dispelled the silence from you ages ago. Or hadn't you noticed? Oh, I see. Great that we're not tied up anymore and all that, but we're still being actively drained. I've invested everything to ensure my success today. My private funds. A veritable army. Surround them. Don't let them escape. The ritual will not be stopped. Uh, why won't it cease? We are freed, and yet our blood still drains from us? Hmm. Well, this wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Our very lives are ebbing away! Stop panicking, Constance. You know I'm never unprepared. Hey, you've always got a trick up your sleeve, don't you? I can hear your secret plan running our way.
Rising? What precisely is going on? Their blood is being drained and then transformed into raw power. Ugh, I... that's a lot of blood. Too much blood. This is hard to watch. Magical vortices beside us to obstruct their flow quickly now. It is crucial to halting the right of rising. The vortices are repelling the crests of the apostles. We can't block them ourselves. Look, we really want to help, but right now we just can't. Please do what you can. Give it my all. Quite helpful. Much needed. Stay focused. Yep.
Could you step within the magical vortice? Yep. Sally Four. Sure thing. Let me at him. I'll give it my all. Thanks. Well done. Stay focused. Cut through. forth from the chalice. Without the chalice's protection, I doubt anyone will survive. So this will kill everyone, including your allies, and you don't even care? We have to stop this now! That is that. To demonstrate, Get down! you fought well. Should I have held back? It is decided. Definitely tougher. Ready and willing. Mindful. No hesitation. That is that. We must all do our part. Show me more.
You never had a chance. I may as well win. I'd rather be napping. I think I'm improving. Amazing! As expected. To you. Sally Ford. Think this through.
stay focused. Reckless. Sure thing. from the other vortices, too. No. No! Stop them! No! 
will prevail. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Sally Four. Thank you. I have not wanted any harm to befall you. As you are her child, she'd have wanted you safe. But if you insist on getting in the way of this, I have no choice but to strike you down. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. Ugh. Battle. Thanks for that. Ready and willing. Shall we dance? <laughs> Sorry, but victory is mine.
sure thing. Now that we've stopped the ritual, all that's left on the agenda is defeating Elfric. It matters not whose blood it is anymore. Even if I must use your blood to see this through, I will. I have not wanted any harm to befall you. As you are her child, she'd have wanted you safe. But if you insist on getting in the way of this, I have no choice but to strike you down. Prepare yourself! Pity. 
my gratitude. Stay focused. No hesitation. Should I have held back? Such power dwells within. Let the lesson begin! As expected. Indictable. No hesitation. Each battle a chance to grow. As expected. Careful now. You're certain? Sure thing. Ready and willing. I'll give it my all. I'll cut through. Stay focused. Soon. Soon she will be brought back to me. Should anyone attempt to get between us, they will sorely regret it. Such power dwells within? Not yet! There's still time! Professor, you would raise your sword against me? Your mother lies here, waiting for us, waiting for you. Don't you want her back? 
Teach, is that true, or is he just trying to freak us out? If so, it's kind of working. There is no room for doubt. I know her appearance better than anyone. This is her. An upstanding nun who married Gerald. She died 21 long years ago. You cannot expect us to believe that someone who died two decades ago is still in such pristine condition. Incredible, isn't it? It's as though she remains untouched even after all these years. Perhaps her body differs from others. Beautiful, ageless, perfectly preserved by some secret only she knows. Whatever the case may be, it is strange, is it not? It's been ten long years since I found her. I came across her body, frozen in time, deep underground. I have worked tirelessly to solve the riddle of her death and bring her back to life. Halt, Elfric. Rhea. You are the cause of this. It was you who killed her when she gave birth to a child who made no sound. Tell me what you've done to her. Why does her body remain while her spirit does not? I owe you no words on the matter. But I will tell you this. She made the choice to die, that her offspring might live. I respected her will, nothing more. Alfric, just as I viewed her, so do I view you. You are as my own child. Please, cease this futility. Oh! You expect that I should believe you without question? You see her lying here before you, and yet you owe no words. Rhea, I am finished with you. The only thing that remains to be done is to complete the ritual. Hurry. He cannot have gone far. Yes, we must stop him at once. Let's figure out where he disappeared to. What about you four? You don't look like you're up for much of anything right now. It'll take a lot more than that to stop me. If anything, I feel speedier with less blood weighing me down. <laughs> Probably for the best that he drained us. Otherwise our blood would be boiling. Ugh, speak for yourselves. I feel atrocious. We must end this, and swiftly. Count me in. We're all on the same page. But first things first. Let me see that pretty face of yours, boss. Hmm? Why the hell didn't you tell us? Ugh, sorry I had to use you all. But there wasn't much choice. Someone would have died for sure otherwise. It could have been any of you. It could have been one of my rogues. Someone from Abyss. Who knows? You imply that you didn't trust us enough! I am incensed by you, Yuri! Use me or don't, but it would have been nice if you'd asked us first. Look, I get it. Your people were being held hostage. You were between a rock and a hard place. But I thought we were pals. Buddies till the end. I... I need you. All of you. I've been a fool. Thank you for always being here for me. Even now. Alright, I think this fool gets the picture. Time to find that other fool and take him down. You'll help with that, yeah? <laughs> I love the lip on this one. Let's do this, Wolves. To me, growing up in the shelter of the monastery, she was my world. All of the memories I hold of her. Learning, growing, walking hand in hand. She left me in awe. If that's what makes her happy, then I will watch her walk away with warmth in my heart. If that is truly what will make her happy, surely he will make her smile. That's all I wanted for her. To Citri, confined within the monastery walls, he was her world. I saw the way her eyes glimmered when they spoke and her otherworldly smile when they became engaged. 
the look on her face when she told me how happy she was to bear his child. It was enough for me to see her happiness, to witness it from a distance. She breathed her last 21 long years ago. I have never forgotten. She died before she could see the face of the child whom she had so lovingly nurtured. The funeral was a solemn affair. We gathered in the graveyard, said our farewells, and watched as her casket was lowered into the soil. That was the end of her story. Or so I thought, until ten years ago, when I found her. Her remains, hidden deep within abyss. She looked as beautiful as ever.